guys it's gracie welcome back to youtube channel if you're new here nice to have you thanks for joining and if you're returning thanks for sticking around for today's video i thought i would do like a college for beginners um even going back to like middle school times um and not even college but just like high school and kind of college for beginners because personally i am a first generation college student um my mom and dad uh, they have like a high school diploma or like, equivalent GED, but they don't have really any experience with college um, and they weren't very st very dedicated and driven students. So growing up it was kind of hard to have like a direct impact um, in the, as far as like in the schooling area um, if that makes sense. but however, I do want to preface that having X amount of years of school under your belt does not make you any less or greater than of a parent. Um, I learned so much more than what I needed to through life lessons and stuff that they taught me. So I believe what they didn't able to give me in schooling and all that, they gave it to me in life lessons and stuff. But with that being said, I thought I'd make this video just kind of explaining um, life before high school and then the early years of high school. I believe I'll do a part two to like later years of high school and then your senior year and stuff like that that's important whether you're doing college or not um but yeah I want to preface all that by saying I am no guidance counselor I am no college life planning person this is all from my experience and things that I've saw from friends and family members and brothers and sisters so with that being said that is kind of all the knowledge that I'm using also as well as like my YouTube knowledge of seeing people go to college or going through school whatever um, but all that collectively combined, um, I'm making this video for college, high school students, and I think it's really useful and needs to be taught and needs to be um, highlighted in our middle school and high school education systems, especially um, across the world. So with that being said, I just want to preface as well with that, that I just graduated high school. Um, I'm attending University of South Carolina in the fall with a major in middle school education um, and concentration in math and science. So, with all that said, also in my Carolina Gamehawk shirt that's purple, clumps of colors, but anywho, um, yeah. With all that said, let's just get on into the video because that was a big ol' rant. Okay, so, I classified this, also if you see me look down, I have like my laptop right here with just like notes and stuff that I thought was important and was gonna write down. So, yeah, um, but... I kind of preface this and title this as college for beginners, but like I mentioned, it literally is for high school students too, because honestly, you don't really know if you want to go to college, like right away. Um, and college sound, sometimes sounds so far in the distance that you kind of push it off. So yeah. Um, so before high school, you obviously need to start thinking about your future. I think it's important. I think even as like a young girl, I always thought like, oh, I'm going to be this or I'm going to be that. And even throughout middle school, if you asked me what I wanted to be, I told you some kind of doctor or surgeon or something. I was obsessed with Grey's Anatomy, so my head was driven on that I was going to be the next Owen Hunt and go into the army or something and be like a trauma surgeon. That was my thought process. And then I started thinking, and as I got older, I realized how much college that was, realized how much debt that was, realized, realized how much pressure that would be on me, and I was like, mm, I'm out. So you know life changes but it's important to dream it's important to imagine life and imagine possibilities so before high school start writing down things that inspire you you know watch videos watch movies read books anything that could inspire you and point you in a direction of something that you would like or reveal to you a new passion those are important things to do and important things to find yourself in and discover um it's not possible for everybody, but travel as much as you can. You'll see things like, example, the St. Louis Arch. That is a big thing. And, you know, seeing that might make you want to become an engineer, a structural engineer or something like that. You know, like, or um, seeing, like, the Riverwalk in San Antonio might make you want to do something with, like, water systems and stuff like that. Or seeing, you know, this big hospital might make you want to do something else so I encourage you like just expand your horizon don't go into high school or even eighth grade year with saying this is exactly what I'm gonna do don't tell me otherwise 
um, because I think when we do that, we close our mind off and we don't allow for new things to come in. And personally, if I did that, um, I would not be a teacher, going to be a teacher, honestly. Um, I would probably be going to do pre-med track and hate the rest of my life because, well, honestly, pre-med's not for me. It's not for everybody. So yeah, write down things that encourage you, expand your horizon, um, and if it's possible throughout middle school, um, job shadow as much as possible, job shadow teachers, doctors, lawyers, anybody. I know it's hard, I know it's awkward, but I promise you, you won't remember your experience. Um, and it'll probably be one thing, if you do remember, it's going to be something really positive. Um, so job shadow as much as you can, even through high school, be like, make connections and, you know, talk to people at the grocery store. I know it's weird to just walk up and be like, hey, but just make conversation. Hey, how are you doing today? Did you have a great day? Just make conversation. You'll meet people through that way. Um, and then it'll open doors for you into your future. Um, like I said, search the internet. Um, not only on YouTube and movies and stuff like that, but search the internet to find jobs that you've never heard of. It is a world wide of jobs that are never heard of literally never heard of like marketing engineer not marketing engineers but like <laughs> i don't know there's just jobs that aren't your doctor lawyer teacher firefighter police officer nurse hairstylist car mechanic cashier i don't know what else but there's stuff beyond that like so much more um graphic designers you know, people who make cars, like, who study car mechanics and like design cars and IT professionals and there's so much more, especially with the world technology improving and things going beyond what we could even fathom. There is so much more jobs coming open every single day. So look, research, explore. Most schools in America right now are giving them out laptops and iPads or something of the sort. Use that to your advantage. Research, research, research. Um, yeah, and also TikTok. I know like every teenager in the world has that, or most of them do. I actually don't, so I can't say every, but a lot of teenagers do. And I'm sure if there is a job, there is a person on TikTok who works that job and can tell you about it. Like, there's still people who live in like Savalbard? Savalbard? I'm not sure if I'm saying that. Savard? Something like that in the North Pole. And they literally just study stuff. Like, Literally, there is the most random jobs that you can find on TikTok that you didn't even know. Like, working for NASCAR. Like, there's someone who does that on TikTok. Like, there is every job in the world. So, research, use your resources um, to your advantage. And then, with all that collectively combined, don't try and plan out like I mentioned, but start realizing, like, what kind of journey or what kind of things you're going to need on your journey to get you where you want to go. So like if you want to do engineering or if you want to do like, you know, be a doctor or if you want to be a teacher or if you want to be a firefighter, there's certain things that are required for you to be in those positions. So like firefighter, there are certificates you have to have. For teacher, there's schooling and certificates. There's tests you have to take. For doctor, there's undergrad, there's graduate, there's residencies. You know, every, you know, career field has a different process and different journeys. So start kind of thinking about that. Don't plan it out but just start thinking like open your horizon being like okay well if I know I want to go to college what what college did, would I like to go to um so yeah just a dream like spend your years before high school dreaming and thinking so then um it's not true for everywhere but as years go on high school classes start being offered earlier and earlier and earlier um I believe my middle school i started um at my middle school i started high school classes in seventh grade or eighth grade but i know now i think they're even twinkling into sixth grade so high school classes are twinkling down twinkling down um for students who are um accelerated learners or something of that sort so yeah i want to say that but i also want to say this um, as far as GPA wise, if you plan on going to college, that is really important and that's something that people look at and it shouldn't define you, but it's really important and that you try to maintain a good one if you plan on going to college. So with that said, it's kind of like a house. A GPA is kind of like a house. You set a foundation and you build upon that. So if you want to have a great foundation, you have to try your hardest your earlier years. The first eight credits or eight classes or however your school does it of 
classes, those are the most crucial and important classes and credits you'll ever receive because they determine essentially what foundation you're laying for yourself. So if you take ninth grade a year of joke, that's going to be harder to catch back up to where you want to be or where you have set a goal for yourself. So for example, I did that. I didn't take my ninth grade year seriously as much as I would have wanted to. And so by 10th grade year, I realized, okay, crap. Like I want to go to college, but I don't have the best GPA. And so by 11th grade year, when that rolled around, I had to work my tail off. Like I took eight cl classes in one semester, whereas most school, like most students at my school take eight classes in a whole year. So I worked my butt off to get a higher GPA and that's not something you want to do or something that you think is capable for you. Taking your grades and your classes seriously, your first semester or year or classes, that is so important to do and something that you definitely need to consider if you have any plans of going to college or a technical school or anything of that sort. It's definitely something you want to start prioritizing. Um, not in a way that you feel pressured or overbearing, but in a way that you are respectful and mindful of your grades and your goals for yourself. So yeah, that's that. Um, moving forward, early years of high school is a great time for you to start getting involved in community service outreaches, projects, clubs, things of that sort. Um, not only are you doing that for college, but you're doing that for your future. Um, if you don't plan on going to college, being involved in your community is a great way to get a name for yourself and make yourself look presentable and notable in the community. Um, for example, having your picture in the newspaper. People read the newspaper. You'll be surprised by that. Um, I know as teenagers and younger people, we think, oh, just old people do that or old people do this or nobody looks at this really. I promise you people do. It's the thing people look at. Um, people talk. As rather you live in a big town or a small city street town people talk and your name gets out and so having a good notable name for yourself is important um so yeah it also gives a name for yourself when you're going to get a job so if it's if college isn't something that is in your tracks when you go get a job if someone says oh like i know who that is i saw them doing this or oh she's in that club or he's in that club oh i know that club they helped me or my family member with this so it's just a great way to get a name for yourself um, without investing money or investing your, a lot of your time um, into things. And there is clubs that invest a lot of time and a lot of money in, um, and that's just your preference, but um, I definitely encourage it. So then, yeah, and also joining club, it doesn't have to be just a club, it can be sport. Um, but I will say this in hindsight, going into college, they're not looking for just a person with a great GPA. They're not looking for a person just with good sports or just somebody with 150,000 hours of community service, you know, hours, whatever. They're looking for a well-rounded individual, one who may have played a sport, was involved in community service, as well as had a good GPA. So it's not something that there's one criteria and they check and they, if you have it, you go. It's like, do they have this? Do they have that? Do they have maybe this too? So it's something that you want to build a good portfolio for yourself to represent not only a college, but an employer um, at a job or, I don't know, an internship or something of that sort. Um, your early years of high school are also a great time to start building relationships with teachers. Rather, you're going to college or just going to get a job, it is a great way to get a name for yourself um, and build relationships as well, just to have people you know you can depend on at school um, and that you can essentially, you know, rely on everyday basis. Um, maybe not necessarily rely on, but have someone that has your back, shall I say. Um, you know, like for example, you know, I had to have plenty of letter recommendations for college, for scholarships and all this stuff. So having teachers that I knew through community service or if example, if you play a sport, maybe a sport coach or something, um, or maybe, you know, your math teacher and you're going to be a math major, that is very good and notable. Um, so different stuff like that, it not only helps you for college, but I know it helps you to put like a letter recommendation for maybe a job or a scholarship like I mentioned earlier. But also, so not only that area of that thing of that, but if you ever plan on living in the same town you 
going to high school in or if you plan on getting a job in that town even throughout high school it helps you because people know that teacher and if you put that name down or something they're like oh i know that or maybe your teacher's boss is the owner of a bank or your teacher's boss is the owner of a auto mechanic shop and that's where you want to get a job at you know different stuff like that so like making connections helps you out um, it might be awkward at first but i promise you break through that and do it because you can do it um let's see continue to explore what you're passionate about continue to watch youtube videos continue to travel if possible um but also it's important to start taking classes that encourage you or excite you anything that you're curious about ninth and tenth grade years are really crucial years to take those classes because you can academically do pretty well in those classes as well as you can have a good idea for what you want to do your 11th and 12th grade year as far as if you want to do you know become a completer or something at like a career center in your community or something or if you want to use those bases and foundations in ninth and 10th grade to expand on that through college so that was a mouthful but basically taking those classes your younger years basically helps you out in the long run your 11th and 12th grade years because most of the time your 11th and 12th grade years you're taking classes that'll boost your gpa or um, you know, help you get closer to graduation rather than the base classes. So yeah, if you are interested in teaching, take intro to teaching or a child development class of some sort. Um, if you're interested in becoming a doctor or a nurse, take health science classes. If you're interested in becoming a firefighter, take firefighter classes and stuff like that. Whatever your school offers, take things that excite you and make, um, just Take classes that sound exciting to you and sound like something you would want to do. You may never become in or do or follow that track again, but at least you know. For example, I took a health science one class, hated it because it was the teacher was not there any day of the week. We one of the teachers left. We had to get two different teachers come back in. It it was just really really terrible, and so I had a bad experience. And I was like, mm, I don't even like this because this is just giving a bad name for this, and we're just gonna skip it. So. Yeah, I just never really went back to the health science field after that. I actually became a completer in teaching and education. So yeah, take classes that excite you. So I think that is it for things that are key points for encouragement before high school and even your early years of high school. Um, out of all of those things, my biggest advice to you would be get involved, take your grades seriously. Don't worry about how many friends you do or don't have um what boyfriend you have this week or that week just worry about you you know get involved with whatever you can do um have fun obviously but don't stress so much on what you wear and what you look like because even as like i graduated a month ago i, I don't talk to any of those people i literally don't like there's a couple people i'm in contact with but i honestly haven't talked to any of them since I'm, so, I'm worried about college and the things that are next in my life and I feel like as a friend of people who not are not even going to college I can feel the same way for them as well because I've noticed that they don't post it with the people they used to hang out with throughout high school they are at their job they're working and they are doing their own thing and having their own life so don't worry so much about what friends you have and what friends you don't Worry about your journey, worry about your life, worry about your successes, your dreams. Follow after those and all the other stuff will come in place. You'll meet people along your journey and yeah. So I'm gonna put this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any other advice for, you know, middle schoolers or high schoolers, if you're a college graduate, uh, elderly, any of the sort, comment down below. Um, I'm sure they could use it and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you already haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.